good evening everyone another important topic sglt2 inhibitor trials in the medicine wards postgraduates usually ask a question sir there are so many trials in the sglt2 inhibitor drug group with respect to kidney with respect to heart and some trials are not done in diabetes so the, here i want to cover the overall classification of this trial so that the subsequent study of the individual trial will be easy for you the trials can be categorized as those trials where the primary outcome is focused over the heart. These are the primary outcome which focus the, the trials which focused the primary outcome as cardiovascular outcomes. In this also kidney will uh, kidney outcomes will be there. For example, the kidney failure might be assessed, GFR fall might be assessed, but that might be secondary outcome. So primary cardiovascular outcome trials. There are drugs and the trials which focused primarily on the kidney. The primary outcome might be the renal parameters in terms of EGFR fall or the patient going into end stage renal need for dialysis. Those things will be in the primary renal trials. And uh, since the SGLT2 inhibitor drugs, that are paglifosin, empaglifosin, canaglifosin, even though they primarily introduced it for diabetes, later on they found it is useful in the non-diabetic patients also with respect to CKD, with respect to heart failure. So the trials, there are trials which focused in diabetic patient and trials in non-diabetic patient. So we will see those trials in an overall summary so that studying the individual trials will be easier. These are all the three important trials credits, DAPA CKD and the EMPA kidney. Three primary renal outcome trials, rest or, or primary cardiovascular outcome trials. So this is the overall summary slide of the SGLT2 inhibitor drugs and the trials. The drug name is mentioned over here, EMPA glyphosin, canaglyphosin and all. First, we will see the trials which are done in the type 2 diabetes patient. The important trials are given the yellow bracket. This is the EMPAREC outcome trial in 2015. The CANVAS trial, canaglyphosin trial. The CRITANS trial, DECLARTIMI trial. These are all the important trials where type 2 diabetes patients were only included. As I told in the previous trial, credence, DAPA CKD and EMPA kidney are the primary renal outcome trials. The rest all are primary cardiovascular outcome trials. Next, what are the important trials which is done in the non-diabetic patients? Non-diabetic patient. These are all the important trials which are done in the non-diabetic patient, the blue marked one, the DAPA CKD, the DAPA heart failure, the EMPEROR trial, EMPEROR preserved, the EMPA kidney, another less important trial, the EMPULSE trial. So these are all the trials which were done in the non-diabetic patient also. Out of this, which are the most important trials, a resident, medicine resident or nephrologist should, resident should be aware of. Starting from here, the Empire outcome trial, CANVAS trial, CRITANS trial, DECLARTIMI, DAPA heart failure, DAPA CKD, EMPA kidney. These are all the important trials the resident should be aware of. So further, keeping this classification in mind, individual trials you can study. What are the common questions asked in this category is what is the dose of the drug used in the individual trial? How much benefit? What was the EGFR used? These are all the common questions asked in the VIVA. And once someone tell clearly about the classification of this primary cardiovascular outcome trials, those red marked one, primary kidney outcome trials, and those trials which was done in non-diabetic patient, that means you are passed in this SGLT2 inhibitor trial related viva. The individual trials and the seminar which is required for 
DM nephrology resident, I will put it in a separate video. Landmark trials and SGLT to one I will put in a somewhat detailed manner in a some other video.